I saw television in 1939. My dad bought the first TV camera ever sold, bought it from RCA, and it was a camera that RCA had at the World's Fair. And he got the American Legion, I'm pointing downtown Minneapolis, he got the American Legion to put on a parade in front of his TV camera, and he had six or seven TV sets, you know, with the flip-up mirrors, in the old Radisson Hotel in Minneapolis in a closed circuit, put a stage the parade and showed the, put the parade on this television, on these television sets. That's when I first saw television. And what did you think of it? What were your impressions? Well, I was young and I thought it was pretty neat, but I didn't, you know, really have that great learning. I was only six years old, but you know, I, I remember seeing those sets. I could draw a picture one <coughs> with the mirror and the crummy picture. What what interested you? Uh, what interested your father? Sorry, what interested your father about television? What was it about television? Do you think that made him want to own the first camera? Well, I knew a lot of early broadcasters, radio and television. And you have to. These were different people than you generally see running stations today. These were people who were tinkerers, who were experimenters, who were visionaries, who wanted to be part of the future. And when they thought about television, they didn't think of television in terms of cash flow. They thought in tele of television as the next great revolution in offering entertainment, news, and public service. That's what they thought of it, thought of it as. And I remember more than once sitting in my dad's office when TV really took off and him saying, I don't believe it. The money's just coming over the transom because they didn't build these stations with the idea they're going to get rich. They built these stations with the idea that this is the next step in the evolution of electronic communications. So I thought it was exciting. I mean, I heard about television and the war came, and of course that put the kibosh on television. So as far as uh, uh, Hubbard Broadcasting, <laughs> television... That any development or um, uh, well, any development of television in in the area was stopped in, completely during the World War II. Yes, it was stopped when World War II, December seventh, nineteen forty one. Television plans were all put on hold. But radio <coughs> was still operating, correct? Oh, radio was operating terrifically. And I I was sitting on uh, the steps of the, in our home on the interior steps of our home in nineteen forty one in December, so listening to the radio, and I heard the announcement. I had a little portable radio. And I ran and told my dad, and we went right down to the studios at the top of the St. Paul Hotel and spent the rest of the day there. And, and we had a 50,000-watt clear channel, 1B clear channel station, and they put a platoon of soldiers guarding the transmitter all during the war. It was very interesting. 